never build up the land down there of free men and free women and free children and freedom. With these films, the past comes alive on the silver screen. Come on, I'll show you. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 historically accurate movies. Get it? For this list, we're looking at films that have been praised as great historical movies, with only minor anachronisms or inaccuracies. Alles klar. Number 10, Come and See. You think it's funny? You won't laugh long. The good times are over. You'll learn your lesson. A subversive response to a long history of Soviet war propaganda films, Come and See was written by director Elem Klimov with the help of an ex-partisan who fought against the Nazis, along with numerous eyewitness accounts. It's Hitler's all-out war. His objective, to exterminate all of us. And what is our duty? We are to defend this place to the last of us standing here. The production of this objective and realistic portrayal of the German occupation of Belarusia was almost as brutal as the subject matter. I lost all my children in that burning hell! Alexei Kravchenko, playing the lead role, was a non-professional actor who endured fatigue and hunger during filming, all the while dodging live ammunition used instead of blanks for the filming. Meanwhile, wartime documentary-style footage made the film a stunning testament to the suffering endured by ordinary people fighting for their lives on the Russian front. No, they're not here! They're dead! Kill their whole They were all killed! Number 9. Flags of Our Fathers I finally came to the conclusion that maybe he was right. Maybe there's no such thing as heroes. In 1945, Joe Rosenthal's iconic photograph of U.S. Marines raising the stars and stripes on the captured island of Iwo Jima brought fame to its subjects. Six guys raising a flag over Iwo Jima. Victory is ours. You're three of them, right? This was the fifth day, sir. The battle went on for 35 more. Clint Eastwood's epic war film was based on a best-selling book written by the son of one of the men in the photo, James Bradley, who also provided narration and interviews with veterans for the movie. I'm sorry. Sorry. You were the best father a man could have. Flags of Our Father's depiction of the horrors of warfare and the tragedy of what comes after was praised by the U.S. Marine Corps chief historian for its attention to detail and historical verisimilitude, particularly the depiction of the harsh terrain where the Marines fought. Number 8. Lincoln Might those people I freed be ordered back into slavery? Historians and critics gave a warm reception to this painstaking recreation of President Lincoln's fight to have the 13th Amendment passed in the closing months of the American Civil War. It's not a military campaign. It's the amendment to abolish slavery. Why else would you force me to invite demented radicals into my home? The film was shot in Richmond, Fredericksburg, and Petersburg in Virginia, where historical architecture from the period remains today. Daniel Day-Lewis received widespread accolades for his masterful performance as President Lincoln, paying attention to key character details like the president's unexpectedly high voice and propensity as a master storyteller. She grabbed a hold of a stick of firewood and fractured his skull and he died. In his will, he wrote, <laughs> hey, he expects she has killed me. <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones was also praised for his performance as Thaddeus Stevens, a 19th century master of insults and sarcastic wit. Slavery is the only insult to natural law, you fatuous nincompoop. <laughs> Order! Number 7. Das Boot This claustrophobic depiction of wartime life aboard a German U-boat submarine was based on a novel by Lothar Gunther Buchheim, who served as a naval war correspondent on the U-96 during World War II's Battle of the Atlantic. With the commander of the U-96 as technical advisor, an obsessively accurate replica of the vessel interior was built, which could be hydraulically rocked, shaken, and tilted up to 45 degrees.
realism was also enhanced by location shooting at the wartime boat pen at La Rochelle. Das Boot is a stunning depiction of the confinement, tedium, and terror of ordinary men caught in the war beneath the waves. Number 6. Tora Tora Tora. This documentary like account of the attack on Pearl Harbor showed both sides of the battle, emphasizing the historical context and detailed planning of the attack. Japan is going to attack us. The 29th is only four days off. Producers and directors from Japan and the United States filmed their perspectives separately, which were then combined into a single film. Technical advisors from both sides were spared no expense to make the sets and scenes as true to life as possible. Want a confirmation, Captain? Take a look. There's your confirmation. Full scale replicas of naval vessels were built, and American training planes were made to resemble wartime Japanese planes, which added to the realism of what was being shown on screen. Tell those damn fools to stop shooting us for Americans! Number 5. 12 Years a Slave. Well, I don't want to survive. I want to live. Based on the 1853 biography of freed ex slave Solomon Northup, this film was praised by historians and critics alike for its brutal depiction of the reality of slavery in Louisiana. 500 pounds of cotton, day in, day out, more than any man here. And for that, I will be clean. That's all I have. Steve McQueen's distinct directorial style and the unforgettable performances of Chiwetel Ejiofor and others helped to bring the cruelty and barbarity of slavery to horrific life. Nigga, run, run so fast over his head in a hornet's nest. Run, run, the patty will look at you. Run, nigga, run, where you better get away. Twelve Years a Slave vividly portrays the social and historical realities of a past where men and women were used and abused as chattel, while emphasizing Solomon Northup's astonishing achievements. I will not fall into despair. I will offer up my talents to Master Ford. I will keep myself hardy till freedom is opportune. Number four, The Pianist. Ich weiß, ich weiß nicht, wie ich Ihnen soll. Danken Sie Gott nicht mehr. Es ist sein Wille, dass wir überleben. Naja, zumindest sollten wir daran glauben. This film was closely based on an autobiographical book by pianist and Holocaust survivor Vladislav Spielmann. Yes, he's Polish. Why the f***ing coat? I'm gold. However, director Roman Polanski had additional motivation to respect the history on which the pianist draws, as he himself survived the Holocaust in Krakow. This is disgraceful. How dare they? You know, people are like, they want to be better Nazis than Hitler. This story of one talented man's struggle to survive in the Warsaw Ghetto is heartbreaking and poignant, and a testament to Polanski's effort to recreate the setting in every detail, from the oppression of the ghetto streets to specific songs Spielmann played. The Pianist is a haunting vision of suffering made more disturbing by the beauty of the music. Number three, Schindler's List. It's Hebrew from the Talmud. It says whoever saves one life saves the world entire. Steven Spielberg's award-winning movie is considered by many to be the greatest film about the horrors of the Holocaust ever made. Schulter, here, on my authority. <laughs> this tale of German industrialist Oskar Schindler's strategy to save Jews from mechanized extermination is a showcase of the highs and lows of the human condition. A man stole something, he's brought in before the emperor, he throws himself down on the ground, he begs for mercy. He knows he's going to die. And the emperor pardons him. Holocaust survivor Leopold Poldek Pfefferberg spent years working to have this story of one man's struggle to save those caught in the maw of a destructive hate machine made. And Spielberg's grim and realistic portrayal helps ensure it will never be forgotten. The list is life. All around 
Its margins lies the gulf. Number two, downfall. Sie brauchen gar nicht aufgeregt zu sein. Ich mache bei meinen Diktaten selber so viele Fehler, so viele können Sie unmöglich machen. The paranoia and surreal madness of Adolf Hitler's last 10 days hold up in his bunker were masterfully recreated in Downfall, a war flick known in Germany as Der Untergang. Aber will Sie meine Herren glauben, dass ich deswegen Berlin verlasse? Irren Sie sich gewaltig. Er jage ich mir eine Kugel durch den Kopf. Based on extensive historical research, the film features fearsomely factual depictions of some of modern history's most vile figures. In fact, many of Hitler's lines were derived from actual quotations taken from his writing. Verräter! Von allem Anfang an bin ich so verraten und betrogen worden! Es wurde ein ungeheurer Verrat geübt am deutschen Volke! Aber alle diese Verräter werden bezahlen! Mit ihrem eigenen Blut werden sie bezahlen! Bruno Gans gave a terrifying performance as Hitler, both at his most monstrous and his most human. Morgen schon werden mich Millionen verfluchen. Aber das Schicksal wollte es nicht anders. This film shows how, at the end of the day, even the most despicable man in history is still just a man. As Papa. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Soldier has one great trap. To be a good soldier, you must love the army. To be a good commander, you must be willing to order the death of the thing you love. Harvey, society can't exist without the family. We're not against that. You're not? What, can two men reproduce? No, but God knows we keep trying. You need me a lot more than I need you. I, I like solving problems, Commander. And Enigma is the most difficult problem in the world. Você tá maluco, rapaz? Você é uma criança, rapaz. Que criança? Eu fumo, meu cheiro, já matei, já roubei. Sou sujeito homem. <laughs> Number one, Apollo 13. Hey, we've got a problem here. What did you do? Nothing, I stirred the tanks. Whoa. Hey. This tale of a brush with fatal disaster in orbit was based on a book written by science writer Jeffrey Kluger and Apollo 13 mission commander Jim Lovell, as well as first-hand testimony of other astronauts. Gentlemen, it's been a privilege flying with you. Made with the technical support of NASA, the historical docudrama was praised for its exact reproduction of Apollo 13 modules and control rooms. They don't have control? Did we miss a step here? Control? What the hell happened? Zero gravity scenes were even filmed in the same KC-135 plane, also called the Vomit Comet, used to simulate weightlessness during astronaut training. The tense tale of survival in space against the odds gained universal praise from real astronauts and earned the filmmakers two Oscars out of nine nominations. It'll be the worst disaster NASA has ever experienced. With all due respect, sir, I believe this is going to be our finest hour. Do you agree with our list? What do you think is the most historically accurate film? For more accurate top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Grundsicht ist mal aus.